McGregor the run away. We can call the fight, but we can also sit here as fans because when you get a chance to watch these two guys compete, it is just an honor, it's a privilege, and I didn't even have to buy my ticket. <laughs> All right, early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target is very accurate with that straight left hand, so he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you that hurts so many. Heard Conor McGregor and he heard the welterweight champion Leon Edwards in the same way. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, out. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Slips the shot. He got to the clinch. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Oh, McGregor's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Very fast like he lands for Oh, nice, nice. Pocket presence and punches and pressure and pace. It's a lot of peas, but when you're fighting Nate Diaz, you better be prepared because he is coming and he is not stopping until the final point. Under two minutes to go. Oh, beautiful Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Real trouble now. Diaz's elbow attempt here. That one blocked by the defense. Didn't see that one coming. Gets tagged with a nice combination to the head. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Under a minute to go. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this game. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the talk. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with it. And just like that, here we go with round two. Ready. Nate Diaz Ready. versus Conor Ready. McGregor. Ready. Blocks the shot. All right, different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. I'm not sure if there is an injury, but his ground game is so strong, he hasn't made any effort to take the fight there. I don't understand when you possess that skill. When you're so good on the ground, he's so strong in positions, he does such a great job of finding submissions, I don't know why he wouldn't spend the vast majority of the fight there. Tonight he is fighting a very confusing style of fight, and I just don't get it. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, misses with the jab. 
What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. He's landed in perfect place. He's perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. for him to set up that hook again now. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Uh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. All right, breaking the action here. No surprise to see if the ref is going to get the doctor to look at that eye that is nearly shut at this point. Yeah, it's swollen bad, but he seems to still want to be out there. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue. Don't I, they? I, I love it. I love it when he huh. lets it continue, especially when you have a fight that has been as Great fun fight. as this one to this point. Ready. Good. Diaz is now switching his stance. Well, at this point, you got to think he's got to start to mix things up a bit more. At this point, he's worked the head to great effect, but get some strikes to the midsection. Try to slow your opponent down. Diaz is there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk. Gregor Uzai is now swollen shot. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Clearly, the referee keeping a close eye on the fight. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and the doctor's not going to let you continue as a one-eyed fighter. You all can see the swelling around his eye. It is awesome, and I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in this fight. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter. But he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round, number one. Right. Right. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. It's like an out of box. Like, he hits people, and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoes. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register that. <laughs> A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots. Oh! Gets back to his feet. Back and forth we go. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become a oh, man, as effective as straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. 
I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz. All right, so Nate Diaz added to his...